What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you another video and in today's video we're actually going to be reacting and reviewing the newest DLC character to Smash Bros Ultimate, the hero from Dragon Quest and I'm really excited for this because when I was younger I actually played Dragon Quest 8 and I really liked that game a lot, me and my friends were really into RPGs and we still pretty much are but I love the fact that that game blended Dragon Ball art style with RPG elements and for, I mean a lot of you guys may not know this but Dragon Quest is one of the original if not the original RPG game that pretty much blessed us with the presence of all the ones that we know and love from Final Fantasies, etc. So without further ado, let's get into this video and I really hope he's good because I haven't made a Smash Bros video in a while and partly due to that is because I haven't really been into the game as much and I kind of want to come back to it and just play it some more and hopefully this character is enough for me to want to make videos about it. and also break him down and help you guys get into learning him a little bit better. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. <laughs> This man, Sakurai. Those 3D renders look amazing in the back. Well, he's actually going to be playing as the character for us. <laughs> he's going to be using two controllers? <laughs> That looks interesting. See, I'm still playing 11. I'm like towards the end of it. I haven't yet finished it. I went back to it the other day, but I saw that the Nintendo Switch version is actually going to be including a uh, top-down old-school RPG style, pretty much of the like normal game, which is crazy. You can transition between the two of them, I believe. They look really good. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
防ぐことができます。Okay, so like Link makes sense. So Link's not the only one that can do that. And Kirby after absorbing Link. Frizz. Got Frizz, Frizzle. And Ka Frizz. <laughs> yeah, they got funny names for their moves. また溜めてる状態をキープすることもできますのでいつでも好きな時に使えますただしせっかくメラゾーマまで貯めていてもその時の MP が足りない場合出ませんから注意した方がいいです Oh wow So how do you build MP? By hitting people? Like limit break? 横地さんは電形になりますまず短く押すとデイン牽制に向いています長めに押すとライデイン結構な距離を貯めています That's some pretty interesting range 最後に最大まで貯めると Oh, is that only grounded? Like, can you do that? Like, air? can you approach and do that in the air? I mean, I'm not going to count on Sakurai to show us because he's not. I'm pretty sure he doesn't utilize short ops. Kasush! <laughs> Not bad. I really like the RPG elements, like having to use MP to actually utilize his moves. That's pretty cool. That was pretty low. <laughs> Did he try to down? Oh, that was interesting. That's a buff, obviously. Yeah. Oh, psych up! I wonder if, if you psych up like five times like in the old school games, we transform. Even if you miss? Okay. I like that. <laughs> that is that was wild. The range isn't that bad. I remember people saying on Twitter that he's pretty much... These spells are like not set spells, like it's RNG, like it'll always be something different coming up, and I'm not sure how that really works. It's pretty interesting. Could mess you up a few times. It's a ranged sing. I can't believe that. Like, does that work if like you toss it out at the edge when people are trying to come back in? Oh my god. Sorry. I have to go back. Yeah, so it's a ranged sleep. It goes pretty far. What? <laughs> That's crazy. It's like Cloud's finishing touch, but insane. <laughs> Zoom. Zoom is what he used to use to teleport. Okay. I hated fighting metal enemies in this game. What? So does that work on like Meta Knight or King K. Rool's belly? Madante. 
MP がものすごく減ってるのを見ることができると思いますが、すべての MP を使って相手に強力な打撃を。Why did that look like heat dome? That looked like Trunks' attack heat dome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> 残量によって効果が異なります。そしてメガンテ、これは超強力な爆発を生みますが、自身も自滅してしまいます。などいろいろな技があり勇者が持つ必殺技というのは全ファイターの中でも最高の数になっていますまたコマンドは R ボタンなどでこのまんま何もかけずに切ることができますのでそれで抽選をやり直すという手も使えます最後の切り札はギガスラッシュです OK, I see 歴代の主人公が集まり勇者に力を貸して攻撃をするという Let's see how this works out. Hi, Tenku no Saitan stage no Tyson. This A to you shower, what I see the A for you shower she did. Say sure, Ashbagar must get me. London and Joshua. I love this music. It's the battle songs. I kind of get vibes of like Robin, sort of, whenever I see those electrical uh, part effects, particles. Did that hit? Sorry, I'm not trying to rewind as much in this video, but I need to go back and see that. Oh, wow. It did hit him. Okay, cool. I see, I see. I like what I'm seeing so far. I really do. Okay. What was that? Forty percent. <laughs> you were asking for that. Crackle slash. I like this. It's it's a form of nostalgia for me, at least personally, because I really enjoyed Dragon Quest VIII growing up. So I think that this is a really cool character to add in. I know a lot of people are upset and they want a Banjo Kazooie first, but I can say the op it's the opposite with me, man, because I I'm not a fan of Banjo Kazooie. I never played one of his games and never cared about him as a character. But Dragon Quest for me, I play I played this game quite a few times, especially growing up. So it had a huge effect on me. Okay. Makes sense, and the Dragon Quest XI music is in the background. Yo, you know what sucked about Dragon Quest XI's music? Was that it's like a MIDI track, so it just, after a while, it just sounds like you wanted to kill yourself hearing that song in the same tone over and over again. So, uh, some cool people on the PC community made a mod where you can actually upgrade the music and turn it into like an orchestra, which sounds way better in the game. Which I did, and I, I, could, I, could, I could vouch for it. It sounds really good. Like, can you imagine hearing this song all the time? And it plays everywhere. It played in every single city, every single menu. It played in, even at night, which was annoying. So the orchestra kind of switches it up a little bit. And it's more pleasing to the ears, and you don't feel like shooting yourself. I don't know any of the songs by names, but I definitely will be going through them and checking those out. Because there are some pretty decent songs in that series. July 31st. Tomorrow? Okay. Looks like we're making videos on this boy tomorrow.
勇者配信と同時にバージョン 4.0 にアップデートが入ります。OK! Are they gonna buff Falco? Come on, man. He hasn't had any changes at all. I guess he's he's an okay character, but Jesus Christ, his up smash is horrible. Does it not hit from behind him, and people fall out of it non stop? That's annoying. A very easy mode? <laughs> Can we customize? Oh my god. I, I like that we have a tournament mode, which is cool. It's going to be fun to make videos with, but come on, man. We can't customize the rule sets or join custom lobbies for it. So that's where Nintendo lives and dies by timed battles. Time battles with items on, and the times are like three, four minutes. We need stocks. There are two. There are still two slots open. Oh, that's it. We finished it. Yep. That's pretty much going to be the bread and butter of the character, the down special uh, command selects. It's pretty cool that if you press R, or I guess right trigger, or right bumper, or whatever, it cancels it. So you can just keep refreshing it over and over again to get like the next new thing. Which is going to be something that you're probably going to be doing in between stocks whenever you take your opponent out, or when you come in from a stock, because I don't know if it'll take you out of invulnerability. But that's pretty cool. So far from what I've seen, I like, I like the way he plays. It doesn't seem bad at all. Um... More or less, I'm very happy because Bowser Jr. for a long time was like, I think Bowser Jr. still is, besides this character now, the only character that utilizes the multi-skin thing. And Corrin. Corrin actually has that too because he can be a boy or a girl. Oh shit, and Robin. Okay, there weren't that many characters before, what, is, what I'm saying. I just didn't like that Bowser Jr. had so many options. I think it's cool that the hero has four. And they're pretty much iconic characters from that game series, which is even cooler. Overall, I, I think this is going to be a pretty cool addition to the character. And he's coming out tomorrow, which is awesome. I can't wait to try him out tomorrow. I'm definitely going to be making a video on that. So you guys stay tuned for all that. I don't know when you guys will probably see this or when this will go up. I'm going to try to upload this as soon as I can. He's also, if you look at it, he's pretty much like Shulk. He has Monado in that sense. I mean, most, most of them have like the same type of effects, which is pretty cool to say the least. I really like that he has like an MP bar. It kind of, it really brings that JRPG feel to it. And overall, I mean, if you think about it, Cloud could have had one too, but instead they gave him Limit Break because Limit Break was uh, unique to Final Fantasy VII. Whereas MP, I believe, was created by Dragon Quest, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure. I think so. They are the original JRPG. Oh, let me see Zoom. So will it always bring you back towards like that center area? Oh wait, let's you recover from any oh recover from anywhere. Let's go back a little more. Yeah, Thwack is crazy. I can't wait to cheese a few people out and get them very upset from using that on them. I wonder how long is the uh, the landing frames on that. That's cool if your opponent comes off stage and is trying to like edge guard you, but I wonder I wonder how fast they like if they can react and hit you out of the first part of the animation going upwards. Metal size. I want I want to try that out on Meta Knight and um, a couple other characters that have like metal base like Samus and and even uh, King K. Rules like Belly. I wonder if that'll like one shot them. That's crazy. If it does, that's a huge that's a stupid counter option. My God. I doubt it would just kill Samus just like that because that would be really messed up. Rip Samus players if that is the case. That move is cool. I like that a lot. It uses up all your magic though, but let me see. I can see that killing at about 70-80% and has big it has a big range. I mean, look at this radius. It's a big range, and it gets bigger and bigger. I imagine, like, if you get hit by it from the, from really up close, it'll probably do more damage than it would, like, if you were standing a little bit further away and then you got hit into it. Either way, that's going to be a crazy-ass team option. 
Like, if you have him as your teammate, you just back throw him or forward throw him into him as he does that magic burst. That's, in that's insane. That's a straight up Trunks move. What's up, buddy? My dog old Grayson wanted to say hi. I don't know if you guys saw him in the background of that video, but. Great, great. What's up, guys? Grayson here. Today, bringing you another video. Uh, yeah. My daddy is uh, the best YouTuber of all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Bye bye. Bork, bork. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh, man. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna show him off in some more videos, guys. I'm gonna make him more face videos as well, so don't worry. Right, great, great. Ah, oh, he smells so good. My guy. Honestly, I think he's a great addition to the game, and I'm pretty excited to come back to Smash and try him out. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the hero from Dragon Quest. Are you guys interested in playing as him, or you don't really care and you're more or less waiting for Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> to be honest, I'm super happy he's coming out tomorrow, which is very super exciting, and I can actually make a video about him ASAP, which is awesome. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. We're going to be making more videos about the hero ASAP, so stay tuned. My name is Blitz, and thanks for watching.